there, YouTube. <clears throat> Look, I just wanted to do this quick video. I know it's kind of out of my regular posting routine, but I've come to a realization very recently and I thought that it should be addressed. So in America in general, particularly around the politics right now, we are in a very, very dangerous state of mind. We in America are painting everybody right now with a different viewpoint than what we hold as an other. We're saying this person is on the other side of the fence, no matter which side you happen to be on or they happen to be on, on this one issue. And the news sources we listen to are set up to show us an argument from a viewpoint that paints them in a direction so opposed to what we think that it sets up a straw man of their argument, meaning that it, it's not clearly explaining their position. It is painting it into a very simplified narrative that is easily dismissed. Further, it is painting them in a situation that shows they are in diametric opposition to anything rational. What I'm saying here is, is clearly illustrated in some people's stances on media particularly right now so let me let me paint this picture for you ben shapiro and i've posted some videos from him recently on my channel and you know i don't think ben shapiro is a bad guy i think that he has some some ideas that i definitely disagree with but he's coming to them rationally and i feel like ben shapiro and i could have a very fruitful conversation I clearly think that his aim is to other anyone that's opposed to his viewpoints because it furthers his ambition, and I disagree with that. However, this isn't always his approach and it's not his sole ideology, and while yes, that is his standard position, I feel like it's unfair to say that that's only his standard position. I feel like that's everybody's standard position right now. If you watch the video where he was talking to Andrew Neal recently, and it's available on YouTube, it very clearly exposes his position where if you have a viewpoint opposite of me, I'm going to attack you. And in that particular case, it's really highlighted because he didn't do his research ahead of time. He didn't understand where Mr. Neal was coming from and what viewpoints Mr. Neal held. And he automatically assumed that because, you know, his, his typical dealings right now are from an, an opposite viewpoint that caused him to be extremely hostile toward the conversation before it even begins. And he came into this with that being his preconceived notion, and it was really highlighted and illustrated in the conversation. Andrew Neal is extremely right-wing in British politics, and not having known that ahead of time, he, um, Ben Shapiro, that is, really illustrated the point of what I'm getting at. It's really about demonstrating an arbitrary position that vilifies the other. You know, in all of this, I find people like Joe Rogan particularly illuminating. And the reason being is that Joe Rogan and I, contrary to what you might think, hold a lot of the same positions. You have to watch several of his interviews in order to even get to what some of his positions are because Joe Rogan's show, the Joe Rogan Experience, he doesn't really discuss a lot of his positions. He does throughout the course of, of his interactions, but most of Joe Rogan's interviews are about what the person he's talking to believes, not about what Joe Rogan believes. And on occasion, if it gets a little out of hand, he will ask for further elaboration, but he doesn't really contest their viewpoints. I think that this is a very honest way of approaching things. One of my big problems right now is that so many people on the far left and the far right will jump out and say, well, you didn't come out and vilify this position, therefore you're supporting it and you're platforming these people. And that's so arbitrary and wrong. If you have a good idea, if you have a very valid reason for supporting a viewpoint, then let it stand on its own. And if you hold a true opinion on something that is clearly demonstrable 
through evidence or through reasoning, then support that viewpoint. Don't just shut down somebody's ability to say a viewpoint that's in opposition. What you're doing is not arguing. You're not coming from a rational standpoint that supports what you believe. You're just trying to shut down somebody's ability to say their opinion that's in opposition. Joe Rogan and I, surprisingly enough, hold a lot of the same standpoints politically and conversationally. I think that anytime we're shutting down a conversation before it begins, we're doing each other a disservice. And we're furthering all of this bumper sticker, arbitrary politics that's going on in America right now, and it's ridiculous. What I want you to come away with this conversation is this. If you disagree with an, a standpoint that I've illustrated, if you disagree with atheism, great. Present your argument. I will respond. I will have a conversation with you. I am not opposed to hearing your viewpoint. If you support Donald Trump, great, do it. Present your argument. I am very much against Donald Trump, and it might not be for the reasons that you think I am. There are some things about Donald Trump that I support, and I will go on the record to say so. I want to hear your viewpoint. If you think that I am crazy for saying that, then you're not listening. The bottom line here is that when we keep painting everybody that disagrees with us on even a single viewpoint in this bubble, in this ideological, easy to throw away straw man bubble, we're doing each other a disservice. We're not having any kind of conversation or debate. We are illustrating the problems that got us here in the first place. Hey, look guys, I appreciate the views. I appreciate an honest feedback. And if you guys want to throw some hate comments down below, I finally got one, by the way, and it was really arbitrary, but look, if you guys want to throw something out there, do it. I will respond. I will take what you say as feedback, and I will react appropriately. Look, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and follow the channel. Subscribe. If you don't like this video, that's fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to force you to do anything. All I want to do is have a conversation with you, the American people, with you, the viewer on the internet, with you, the international community, whoever you happen to be. Wherever you're at, I will come and meet you there. I'm not here to throw out arbitrary viewpoints and say, this is what is right for everyone. I'm here to have a conversation with you. Thank you very much for the view, and I hope to see you in the next one.